The universe is teeming with countless intelligent life forms. Estimated 400 billion stars in our galaxy. 400 billion galaxies in the known universe. We are not alone on this planet, never have been. Hello wise viewers and welcome to Science and Spirituality on Supreme Master Television. In recent years, there has been an increase in the number of sightings reported globally of unidentified flying objects, or UFOs. Today on our program, we are delighted to present the third and final part in a three-part series featuring a highly engaging interview with an expert ufologist, Mr. Robert Oral Dean, also known as Bob Dean, a retired command sergeant major in the U.S. Army. While serving in the military in the 1960s, Bob Dean was authorized to read a top secret document called The Assessment. The Assessment concluded that the Earth has been under detailed observation by extraterrestrials since the beginning of human history. Based upon the report and his own first-hand experiences in interacting with otherworldly beings, Mr. Dean believes that their culture, technology, and development far surpass anything found on Earth. We now continue our intriguing discussion with him about intergalactic civilizations and how they are assisting our world in evolving to a higher level of existence. They have a program underway. Let me tell you something but bluntly. They could have brought about full disclosure any time they wanted. Now, if they were to park some of their giant motherships, the one five and ten miles long, over large American cities and simply hover over Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, San Francisco, and just sit up there, you know, for a while, they would make the disclosure take place. So they are probably as concerned as some of our military and governmental authorities are too. They don't want to shock people. There is a psychic shock that people can experience when they are confronted with the reality that they're not prepared to deal with, like my experience with them. What about the UFO sightings that are frequently made across the world? Why do we sometimes see them in the sky? Some of the craft in your skies are theirs. Some of the craft are ours. Some of the best ones are theirs. We're not quite yet where they are. And one of the reasons you see them is that they're showing themselves to you. They hovered over O'Hare Airport, uh -huh. Chicago, last year. They do this gently and subtly. It's non-threatening. But it's sort of like you say, hey, wake up down there, you know. Look up here. Pay attention. What do you make of this? There's more and more and more of this, and you're going to see as the year goes on, you're going to see more of the giant triangles uh, hovering over cities, bases, airports. And there are going to be pictures taken, and people are going to look up, and the people are going to say, ooh, what, what do you suppose? Could it be? So they do that, and, and they've been doing it for a long time. They're trying to gently bring us to a point where we can accept the reality of their presence without psychic shock because uh, they want to avoid that. As I say, they know us better than we know ourselves. So that must be the crop circle phenomenon as well. The crop circle is a subliminal way of communicating with us. It communicates with our subconscious. Those images, oh, they're incredible. The real ones, the beautiful, beautiful ones are made by some of them and they affect us at the sub-level of intelligence, our subconscious. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
I, I'm told that there are new ones this season that are just out of this world. Apparently they made two circles that were by each individual and are not quite finished, and yet you overlay the images of them and you get the same kind of picture you get on the Shroud of Turin. Australopithecus, a hominid species that has long been extinct, is considered by scientists to be an ancestor of modern humans. Bob Dean says the creation of the human race is due to the work of beings from beyond our planet. One of those groups literally had a hand in re-engineering us genetically from old Australopithecus, which was an evolved creature in Africa. And by blending us with their genes, they literally created a new species. They created what we call Homo sapiens sapiens. One of the things I've been shown is that the human genome is literally a gold mine. The human genome is the reason why we as a race and a species are so valuable. Our genome is a blend collection of an infinite variety of genetic factors from a number of different groups and races out there. And this little test tube, this little petri dish we're living in down here, is literally a, a gold mine. Extraterrestrial geneticists look upon this human species, this genome that we are, as unique. We are unique which makes us precious to them. Now, if we could only get ourselves to grow up enough to recognize where we could start feeling ourselves that we're precious to each other. Oh, that's coming. As we develop as a species, what is the universe's marker for our progress? Mr. Dean gives his insights. There are many among us who have developed compassion and love. That is the bottom line, love. Because we have a creator and that is one of the, the factors of that creation. That source of life, that source of light shows gives nothing but love. And when you've been out there, as I have, and I've been out there physically or spiritually, you learn that, that the most powerful, the most overwhelmingly powerful factor in infinite intelligence in life is love. And many human beings are making that step. Bob Dean says he has not only interacted with extraterrestrials, he has also been on their spaceships and visited their planets. We asked him to describe his interstellar travel experiences. Out there, there's no such thing as, as, as we understand it, of getting in a ship, pushing the button, cranking up the old motor, and chugging off out there, and traveling from here to there. No, that's not the way it is. That's why we're having such a problem coming to terms with it. They're not limited by that. They don't literally go chugging off from here to there. Their technology is such that they can be there from here like that, literally. They tried to explain to me the fact that there is no death that uh, out there, there is no time. There is no such thing as past, present, and future. There is only one eternal now. And we apparently, some of our scientists and some of our technicians have learned some of that because we have developed already 40 years ago hyperluminal flight. Ben Rich and Lockheed Martin said some years ago, before he died in 95, he said, we can take E.T. home. 
That was about the time E.T. the movie was out. On previous occasions, through her insights, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared with the world some of the history of Mars. Some 40 million years ago, runaway climate change, the result of livestock raising, utterly destroyed Mars's surface and atmosphere. The residents who survived this immense catastrophe, all vegetarians, needed to go inside the planet to stay alive. There are some Martians still survived. You know, the good one, the virtuous one, they survived, but they could not live the way they lived before. They are underground and they have to recycle everything. Water, vegetable, very little thing they have. During a video conference with Supreme Master Television staff in Los Angeles, California, USA on October 3rd, 2010, Supreme Master Ching Hai was asked to comment on Mr. Dean's endeavor to let the world know about a photo taken by the Phobos II spacecraft of an underground city on Mars which is approximately the size of Chicago, USA. So courageous. We have to give him a hero award. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, we thank him immensely. We thank him so much. This will be very good for humankind to know this. This, this, this is a knowledge that all humans should know. Okay? Yes, I don't know why they kept it secret. Okay, never mind. Now we know. And it's good. We have to thank Mr. Robert Dean so much. I love this guy. <laughs> Tell him I love him. All right? <laughs> yes, Master. Tell him I thank you immensely <laughs> for this confirmation. Yes. All right. Oh, thank God that somebody knew about it and confirmed it, huh? It's just good to have confirmation, right? To find out more about the sun, the earth, the cosmos, UFOs, and more, please tune in to Supreme Master Television for the full broadcast of this video conference at a later date on Between Master and Disciples with multi-language subtitles. Mr. Dean has these final thoughts on humanity's future based upon his experiences with extraterrestrial civilizations. And in closing, I want to say to your viewers that you, you get a tendency to get a little discouraged and depressed and you get a little fearful sometimes. But I want to tell you from what I've seen from the past, the present, and the future that you're in good hands. Remember this, there is a God, there is no death. You are infinite, immortal being. You are sparks of pure divinity yourself. And this race, this species, does have a future. We're going to make it. We're going to get through this transition, this transformation this adolescence, this painful period we're going through. And there's going to be a new dawn and a new day and a new beginning. And there is a future for the human race. And I want your viewers to take heart, be brave, and love someone. Perfect. That's all I have to say. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure and a blessing to have you on our show. Thank you. Pleasure. And give my regards to the lady. Supreme Master Chiang Mai, yes. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our sincere appreciation and thanks, Mr. Robert Dean, for your time, efforts, and generosity in bringing forth the critical message about the existence of highly developed extraterrestrials to our world. May you enjoy the best of health always and every success in your future work. Precious viewers, thank you for your presence today on our program. Coming up next is Words of Wisdom after Noteworthy News. May humanity soon achieve ever higher levels of consciousness and realize that we are the children of God. For more details, 
please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ss.